So here's one of our test pollock trees. Uh, it's a very productive variety almost every year. Uh, it's uh, actually a seedling of Kerry that originated about a half a mile from here uh, at the residence of Tess Pollock in Boynton Beach, Florida. The original Tess Pollock mango tree was probably a seedling of Kerry mango. Tess Pollock first fruited on the property of Jim and Tess Pollock in Boynton Beach, Florida. Tess Pollock was a native Floridian who loved tropical fruit, especially mangoes. The Pollock family lived in the same house for about 50 years and devoted about an acre of land to tropical fruit. This variety first fruited in 2002. Jim and Tess Pollock's son, Jim, thought it was the best mango he had ever tasted and named the new variety after his mother. Shortly after naming the variety, Jim asked Truly Tropical to graft it onto at least one of their existing trees in case anything happened to the original tree. About three years later, the original tree died, so Truly Tropical's Tess Pollock trees are the oldest ones that exist. Tess Pollock is an attractive small tree with a dense, rounded canopy. One of our test pollock trees has an open growth habit, but usually the variety is compact. This variety is almost always reliable and very productive. This variety is very easy to pick. Simply look for the slightest amount of yellow on a mango. On or off the tree, this variety ripens from slightly yellow to completely golden yellow very quickly. When it comes to Tess Pollock, what we do is look for a change of color. It can be even very slight. They go from green to completely yellow very quickly. So if they're on that path at all, we pick them. This is an easy one right here. Whoops. Whoopsie. Haven't used this picker for a while. So that has started to turn yellow. So that's one that we pick. A little bit of sap coming out. So here's a, a bunch of ones that we're ready to pick. All right, and yeah, if we hadn't picked those today, probably tomorrow we'd have some on the ground. Tess Pollock seems to get this scarring on the skin sometimes. It's just a superficial thing. And often they'll have just these marks down that's also very superficial. Very pretty fruit, very easy to pick. So here's one that dropped off the tree. It's sort of similar to Kerry in that it drops easily once it's completely ripe. But unlike Kerry, it doesn't bruise so much. So even though this uh, particular fruit has dropped, it doesn't seem to have any bruising. A little, if you can tell right here, you can tell it hit a branch there, so that's going to be the only bruise.
So, Tess Pollock is a seedling of Carrie, and they look a lot alike. This is Tess Pollock, and this is Carrie. Very similar shape and size and color. So some differences are the Tess Pollock is more of a golden color and the carry when it's ripe turns more yellow. Another thing is the skin is waxier or shinier on the Tess Pollock and the carry has more of a matte finish. Uh, another thing is Tess Pollock gets well, not all the fruit get this, but this is very typical. It's a staining on the skin. Carrie might have a few dots, but Tess Pollock has this very distinctive stain here. It's just on the surface of the fruit. Another thing is that Tess Pollock has much larger pores in the skin. These Carrie pores are much smaller. So another difference is the test pollock when it's ripe starts getting this blotchy dark markings on the skin it doesn't go into the fruit this is still firm fruit but this is a very distinctive pattern of blotches on a ripe test pollock and carrie doesn't really get that you know it gets a few odd spots on them but nothing like this. So you see this, this means it's a ripe Often test pollock. It it's good to eat, and not it's not end. overripe, but you can also know instantly that this is not a carry. So there are a few ways to tell a test pollock from a carry. The test pollock mango weighs less than a pound and usually ripens in May and June. The skin color of ripe fruit is golden yellow and often the fruit has some superficial marks on its skin. The skin has a waxy feel and appearance and seems very resistant to many diseases. The flesh of the mango has some fiber comparable to the amount of fiber in the Hayden mango. Tess Pollock is fairly resistant to bruising. Often it can drop from small trees and not be damaged. The Tess Pollock mango is appreciated for its very rich, sweet, and juicy flesh. Its flavor is somewhat similar to Kerry. Many of our customers who love Tess Pollock prefer mangoes with a little fiber and like the flavor of Tess Pollock better than Kerry.